Welcome back. Now on the first day of school after the summer vacations, here's a scene from most schools. Teachers caught off guard, parents dazed and students clueless. Well, a result of the Supreme Court's verdict on Tuesday put the implementation of any form of syllabus across four major boards in Tamil Nadu on hold for the next three weeks. And our reporter Krishnamurti visited a few schools for a practical lesson. Improvise. That's what most teachers did on day one of the new academic year. With no syllabus in place other than for classes one and six, most of their lessons were generic. We came to the class at morning. Afterwards, the they told the prayer. Then, Miss taught us good habits and everything were how to be in the school. They gave one chart paper. In that, I just, I, there was a picture. From that, we have to tell one story. I told the story of Pataki. But teachers of class 10 who will take the board exams say the uncertainty has thrown them off their rhythm since schools are not sure when they would get their textbooks which pass the syllabus test. We are uh, keeping on switching our plans from that to this. Actually, we are in a fix like where we have to, which uh, syllabus we have to go on with. But now as this crisis has fall, fallen in between, we don't know like uh, how we are supposed to go ahead with this. We are losing this time and really we are, all the institutions are in a really big crisis because uh, we are running short of time also. We are just so confused. We don't know what to study. Now we are just studying basic concepts and we don't have books. We have to complete the portions, otherwise it will cause problems for a future even. Schools now say they may have to rework the timetable to complete the portions on time. Definitely going to be pressure on the children and also the teachers. We have to really redo our plan for the year and for a month, month wise. In such a way, so all the Saturdays we have to use it. Even government holidays, we have to get permission because of this an unexpected situation. Government holidays also, we would, uh, we would uh, definitely request the school education department to allow us to con conduct the classes. Even parents are willing, students are willing, because after all, the question of their future. Day one of a new academic year, and schools have already been sent into a frenzy with the Supreme Court's order on Tuesday. Though they have made contingent plans for the next three weeks, schools fear that a further delay in implementing a syllabus for this academic year will seriously affect the quality of education being imparted to students. In Chennai with camera person Arun, this is Krishnamurti for NDTV Hindu. Well, today saw the revised fee structures being distributed to the more prominent schools in the city. A general mood of discontent prevailed that seemed to suggest that indeed a new committee may be well on its way and that the fee structures might come up for revision once again. I haven't gone into the details. Okay. There's a slight improvement from what uh, Justice Gondraj has given, but it's far from satisfactory from what we have expected. This will not even suffice for us to give our salary for our staff. Then what about uh, the capital expenditure? What about the running expenditure? See, basically we are not satisfied with the increment which they have given. Compared to Govindrajan committee, there is a hike given in the fee structure, which ranges between 10 to 15 percent on an average. But uh, our expectation was between 30 to 40 percent. Now moving on, the Madras High Court today summoned the Secretary of Housing and Poverty Alleviation to appear before it on the 29th of June in a case relating to enacting a law to prohibit manual scavenging. The High Court banned the, uh, the act in fact in 2008 following a petition filed by social activist A. Narayanan. The activist pursued the issue with a contempt petition in 2010. Tamil Nadu government submitted that the existing act of 1993 does not give it enough penalizing powers to bring to book the contractors who employ human labor in scavenging. It was in April this year that the court had asked the Union Housing and Poverty Alleviation Department to reply on the delay in the enactment of a new law. But as uh, the department failed to uh, file a reply, the court had asked the secretary to appear in person on the 29th of June to really explain the union ministry's stand. Now, the Southern Railways have told the Madras High Court that the Tirupati Madurai bi weekly express train will stop at Tiruvannamalai, Chidambaram, Srikasi, Mailadurai, Kumbakonam, and Kodai Road from the 1st of July this year. This came after a public interest litigation said that the train should stop at these important junctions. 
on to some national news and here's something mind-boggling now if you're 18 have you been slogging it out for the last two years to ensure yourself some admissions into um, a stock college perhaps in the delhi university well if you are looking to do a bcom honors course at the sri ram college of commerce you need to have scored 100 percent in your class 12 board exams to even try for the first list the cutoffs at srcc are now 100 percent for commerce students science cutoffs have also broken records the cutoffs are expected to go down in the second list but by how much is anybody's guess the hindu college has announced a commerce cutoff of 99 percent while lsr has a cutoff of 97 percent in commerce colleges will start admissions tomorrow onwards and four more cutoff lists will be released on the 21st of june as well as on the 27th and then on the 2nd and 8th of july now, ministers have been uh, quite baffled by this. In fact, here's what uh, the union HRD minister Kapil Sigbil has said, calling it irrational, in fact. In college, mein, commerce mein cut off 100 percent of the cut-off. So, I was very angry. लेकिन आज जो मैंने पढ़ा उसमें बहुत मुझे बहुत दुख हुआ खास तौर पे उन पेरेंट्स के लिए जिनके बच्चे उन बच्चों के लिए जो मेहनत करके 97 प्रतिशत 98 प्रतिशत नंबर लेते हैं और एक कॉलेज कहता है कि जब अगर आप साइंस स्ट्रीम में हो तो जब तक आपका 100 प्रतिशत नहीं होगा तब आपको एडमिशन नहीं मिलेगा I think that the uh, I request the vice chancellor to take note of it I request the college to take note of it um, and I am informed by the Vice Chancellor that there is only one student, one student in this entire list who has got 100% marks in the science stream. And he may never go to commerce. So, the idea is to exclude everybody who is somebody in the science stream, not to include them in the, uh, allow them an opportunity. Uh, this is a completely irrational way of looking at education, as if the science student who gets 97% or 98% is not uh, capable of doing commerce. मैं समझता हूं कि एक गरा गलत रास्ता और एक कॉलेज में एक और कॉलेज में 99 परसेंट कट ऑफ डेट रखा है ऐसा ही मैं नाम नहीं किसी का लेना चाहता सो आई वांट टू थ्रू यू रीच आउट टू द पेरेंट्स रीच आउट टू द स्टूडेंट्स एंड 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 टेल देम डोंट वरी दिस वी विल टेक केयर ऑफ दिस इरेशनैलिटी we are on your side cut off of 99 and srcc has 100 percent first would you have made it <laughs> of course not i mean nah, nah. why me even shakespeare wouldn't have made it <laughs> into into an english honors course if <laughs> these were the cut off uh, points and the marks because when i passed out of my in those days that one year higher secondary in 1970 i topped the i was the first in the in the merit list and my aggregate percentage was 74.2 the, the education minister, Kapil Sibal, today said that it is irrational. Would you agree? Well, it sounds ab absolutely irrational, as I said, and I was not joking. I said, even if Shakespeare were to come back and give an English uh, course here today, to expect him to score uh, 100 on that, I mean, it, it's actually bizarre. I mean, I mean something very, very, something is very fundamentally wrong in this uh, evaluation system that needs to be seriously looked at. Well, let's hope there's some reprieve and soon enough. Let's crack tracking with some sports news. Over to my colleague, Natasha. Thanks, Evelyn. Well, coming up on the other side, it's a floodload of juicy tennis and cricket coming your way, so do stay tuned.